guys, it's France. Welcome to week 91 of the Journal on Monday series. Today I'm working on a piece of 7 dot studio paper on which I first will be applying a layer of modeling paste that I'm colorizing using primary elements, which are basically pigments with some shine to it. So after mixing both together, I'm using a Finovar stencil and I'm just applying my modeling paste on top of it. Uh, the spread I'm making is for the Mixed Media Place uh, challenge and this uh, month it's all about jealousy. Now I had a really hard time working out this spread because jealousy is not um, an emotion I'm relating to. I'm relating to envy, I can't deny that, um, just like probably everyone, but not jealousy. This is the new alphabet I designed for Stampatique and I'm stamping it using stays on on tracing paper. Adding just a tiny bit of distress ink on the edge of my paper and if you want to know all the name of the products or color references that I've been using, check out my blog or the Mixed Media Place blog. Just ripping the excess of the paper away, making sure it's more or less straight. And then I'm adding some more stamping, but this time I'm using archival ink because I want to wipe it slightly away so that I just have a shadow of stamping. And again, these are the uh, new stamps I designed for stamping. I'm adding an edge, but I'm doing it with archival ink, as this paper is not porous, distress ink would not stay on it. This is a die cut I made, and I'm taking a piece of watercolor paper, so that I can put it in the back, and on top of that watercolor paper, I'm adding distress crackle paint, and this is the picket fence one, the white one. Once it's completely dried, I can colorize it. And the first thing I'm adding to colorize it is dilutions. And then with a baby wipe, I'm cleaning it um, off again so that it only stays in the cracks of the paint. And then I'm accentuating the cracks even more using some pen pastels. To give my die cut some more structure, I'm applying fiber paste to it, which is actually a gel medium that contains uh, paper fibers. I want to make sure that I have a fiber paste everywhere, so I'm taking my time doing so. And then I'm leaving it aside to dry so that I don't distort um, the base with my heat gun. Adding some distress ink on uh, another die cut that I had laying around. And then I'm adding again some more um, archival ink to my tracing paper. My fiber paste is dried so I can colorize it and I'm using dilutions to do so. I'm not staying too long on top of it with my heat gun, I don't want to distort the paper. And once it's dry, again, distress ink. I 
I'm making marks on my background paper so that I know which part will be visible and that's where I can add my journaling. Now as I have a lot of cracks in my crackle paint, I'm not using my favorite uh, Uniball pen, but this time I'm using a Sharpie to make sure the ink won't be running around everywhere. And now that both are assembled, I'm placing a bit of weight on top of it to make sure everything will stay where it should be. This is cambric fabric and I receive a lot of questions about um, this fabric. Um, I get it at the pharmacy. I have no idea where else you could buy it as it is something to make bandages with. So check out with your pharmacist if he, if he can have it for you. It's called cambric. That's what it says on the packaging. Now for the background of this spread, I'm just using all kinds of um, scraps I have laying around on my table. This is my homemade rusted tissue tape. The purple thing is a handmade paper that I purchased to add to my encaustic pieces. And as it worked well with the background, well, I just added it. And I'm not gluing the cambric completely as I know that I will be adding some sewing and that will keep everything in place. I chose a couple of mechanical embellishments by, by Finovar. And the circle thing is a tea bag that has wax on it. It was on, a, on an encaustic piece and then I took it back up. A scrap piece of plaster strip in between both and now I can just assemble everything. And once everything is in place like I would like to have it, I can go in with my sewing machine. To keep the clock in place, I'm using 3D glue dots. so that my frame can fit underneath it and that my clock will stay in place. I'm using a mini Tim Holtz bread to keep the two flowers in in place. The video is about 13 minutes long and it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get it done just because I struggled a lot with the, the theme, not because I was using fancy techniques or anything. And I'm adding some uh, metallic wire around the frame just to add a little touch of texture again. I want to add some accents of gesso and to do so I'm using my super dry brush which I never clean so that I only have little touches of gesso on my spread and then with my finger I'm blending them in the background. Using diluted acrylic, I'm adding some splatters on the spread. And then with matte accents, I can glue my cold porcelain heart in place.
To add some more depth, I'm going back in with acrylic paint and this is a golden colored one. This is Golden High Flow and with a wet paintbrush I'm going straight into the jar to pick up some paint and then I'm adding some splatters again on top of my spread. I'm doing it with the white one and with the black one. Now I thought the purple of my window to be too much, um, too, too screaming compared to the rest of my spread, so I decided to tone it down and again I'm using tracing paper, which I will just be gluing on top of it. As you can see, meanwhile, I cut my spread in half and added it to my uh, Finovar art journal. And I also decided to add um, three eyelets just through the whole thing. To glue the tracing paper, I'm just adding tiny dots of glue in the corners. And as I have crackles in uh, my paint, the excess glue will disappear in the crackles, so you hardly see that there is any glue there. After that I decided to add some more mechanical embellishments and that's about it for today. I hope you liked today's video, if so don't forget to hit the like button or to subscribe to my channel, it's very much appreciated, thank you. And see you back next week. Have a happy one. Ta-da!